library, but I love to cook. So today I'm really excited to share with you a recipe that anyone can make. It's super adaptable for kids, teens, and grown-ups. Just remember kiddos, if you want to make anything in the kitchen, always get your parents permission first. But honestly, this is fun for the whole family to make together. So we're going to be making fruit sushi. It's a little hard to see. I'm a one camera person today, so I can't zoom in. But uh, the fruit sushi, we'll have some promo pics that you can see up close. This is a really fun but also healthy snack. There is a little bit of sugar in it because of the yogurt and the cereal, but otherwise um, it's, it's fairly healthy. So there's two versions we're gonna make today. I'm gonna show you both, but you can pick one or the other, or you can choose to do both. Or if you want to explore and make your own concoction with your own ingredients, you can definitely do that. There's some really good tips online, or if you just wanna use your imagination, go for it. So the main ingredient, star of our show, of our sushi, is bananas. You're gonna want about one per person. If you are gonna make the first recipe, which is our fruity one. You're also gonna need some yogurt. I would recommend a thicker yogurt like Greek yogurt. You could do vanilla, plain, but I chose strawberry because it's pink. And this recipe is a lot of fun and really colorful. So uh, the pink will just add some pizzazz. You could do any flavor you want. Key lime would make it green. It, you can get really creative. You're also gonna need some fruity pebbles. You can use the store brand, name brand, uh, just as long as they're the little tiny ones. And for the second recipe, it's more of a chocolate banana peanut butter flavor. You still need your bananas, but we're gonna use peanut butter. You can use any peanut butter you like. If you don't do peanut butter, maybe you have allergies or you just don't like it, you can do almond butter, cashew butter, or if you don't wanna deal with nut butters at all, just use more yogurt, that's fine. Um, because it's got chocolate in it, something like strawberry would taste really good, but vanilla or plain would also work well. We're also gonna be using plain Rice Krispies for the second recipe. Uh, store brand, name brand, again, it doesn't matter. Um, if you want to go even fancier on the second recipe instead of the Rice Krispies, you can use chopped nuts. Chopped pistachios, chopped peanuts, chopped almonds would taste really good in this. Um, the next thing you need for the second recipe is miniature chocolate chips. Any brand is fine. Just make sure they're the miniature ones because they'll stick better to the um, little tiny banana slices. We also need some tools for this. So you're going to need either a large plate or I have a cutting board here. Um, I would do one plate per person. This is um, one of those recipes that you want to make yourself. I also have some plain butter knives. These are not sharp, um, but again, kiddos, make sure your parents always are with you or give you permission to use these. This will be for slicing our bananas, but also for spreading our peanut butter and our yogurt. Uh, I also have a fork, just because it might help me pick up the pieces later and I can eat with it too. Um, I also have paper towels, because this gets a little messy, and I have a bowl here that I'm gonna put my banana peels in, but if you have a garbage can nearby, that's perfect. So the first thing you need to do is peel your bananas. And I always have trouble peeling my bananas. Do you have trouble? Well, this one actually is doing pretty well. I'm glad. We have to peel the entire banana this time. So, all right. Oh, I got the whole thing. And I have a trash can down there too. I don't have any of those little stringy bits, but if you do, you can peel them off. So I'm just gonna lay my banana down. Now, it's easier to do one recipe Per banana that way you're not mixing your ingredients but because um, for this video I'm doing both I'm gonna go ahead and cut the banana in half and you know what else I forgot to tell you let's pause right here I forgot to remind you to wash your hands now I washed my hands right before this video but before you touch any food make sure you always wash your hands for 20 seconds and dry them really well okay back to the recipe so I've got my two banana halves here we're gonna start with the first recipe, which is our strawberry yogurt, or whatever kind of yogurt you're going to use. And I like this one because it has a lid on it. That way if you don't eat all your yogurt or use it all, you can put it back in the fridge. So I'm gonna take a clean knife for this. And this yogurt, I'm just going to spread right, not only on top of the banana, but also on the sides. And you don't want to put so much that it all just drips off the side, but you do want to cover it enough to where if you were to put your toppings on, they'll stick. 
It's kind of like when you're gluing something. Have you ever put Elmer's glue down and you want to sprinkle like confetti or glitter or something on top? You want enough that all the little pieces are going to stick to it. And go all the way to the side so you can use your entire banana or banana half in this case. All right. My video may not be perfect with what I'm making here and yours might look better than mine or yours might look messy, but that's the fun of this recipe. There's no right or wrong way to do it. So now that we've got our yogurt on, we are going to sprinkle our fruity pebbles on. Now, because my hands have a little bit of yogurt on them from doing that, I don't wanna just reach my hands into the cereal box. It's not very clean to do that, plus you don't wanna get yogurt all over your cereal. So I poured my cereal and the chocolate chips for later into little bowls, and I recommend you do the same thing. And then if you have um, any leftover, you can just eat it or put it back in the box or throw it away. So we're gonna sprinkle the fruity pebbles on, and you wanna kinda of be precise with this. Just get them right on top. Some of it might land on your cutting board or your plate, and that's okay. We are not aiming for perfection here. We're aiming for fun and for color, and we're just trying something new. Now, if you have ever had real sushi, and maybe you haven't, but for the kids out there who haven't, sushi is made with fish. It's rice and seaweed and fish and often vegetables and other things. So some people really like sushi and some people really don't. I'm not a big fan of sushi, but I love this recipe because it's not real, it's not fish, it's fruit. So you can eat this all day long and it's delicious. Okay, so we've got our first half ready. Now, that's all you do for that one. I mean, if you wanna get creative in that other stuff, that's fine, but I've added enough fruity pebbles to kind of cover the sides, the top, and there's some on my cutting board and that's fine. I'm gonna cut this and put it on a plate when we're done. Let's go to the second one. The second one is our peanut butter, and this spreads pretty much the same as um, yogurt does. And the peanut butter, oh, I can smell it, it smells really good. Um, obviously, it's going to be a lot darker, so you're gonna be able to see this a lot better, and you'll be able to see if you've missed any spots because you can see that banana through it. Um, and it's okay if it drips, you don't need to gob it on, just like with the yogurt. We're just looking for a, a surface that's enough peanut butter for stuff to stick to it, but not so much that giant globs are gonna fall off while you're cutting and eating this. Okay. Some recipes will call for you to go ahead and roll your banana in the peanut butter and then roll it in your toppings. And I found that to be way too messy for me. It just got it everywhere. So that's why I like this version because you're really just kind of getting the top and the sides and then the bottom stays clean. Okay. So now I'm gonna put the lid back on this so it stays fresh. We've got chocolate chips and Rice Krispies to put on. So you don't wanna put on enough of one that it covers the whole thing. You wanna only cover about half of it, uh, kind of spread out and then the, the rest will cover it, fill in those gaps. So I'm just gonna loosely sprinkle these chocolate chips on. On the side, you kinda of have to press them in and you'll get a little peanut butter on your hands, but that's okay. If you're making this for yourself, you can lick your hands, but if you're making it for someone else to eat, you'll wanna wipe them with a paper towel just to keep things nice and clean and sanitary. Okay, now I have got peanut butter all over my hands, but there are chocolate chips on this and they look delicious. You don't have to use paper towels, you could use a regular towel so you're not um, wasting, but peanut butter is so hard to clean, I thought paper towels would be better. And our Rice Krispie Treats. And these are a little easier to sprinkle because they're gonna stick right on there. And there's, again, no right or wrong way to do this. Just get them on and make them stick. Okay, so now we need to plate these. So I already have some on a plate here. I'm gonna add more to it. You just need another butter knife. I sliced my banana with this one, so I'm just gonna kind of clean it off. And this is the trickiest part because you wanna hold it so it doesn't roll around, but you don't wanna get your hand all over it. So I'm just gonna loosely hold the end and you want about a three quarter inch slice. So um, if you don't know how big that is, just use like the width of your finger maybe, and that'll, that'll be good. You don't want them so thin that they fall over. 
Because when you slice these, you can do one of two things. You can either stand them up like I have on this plate, or if you find it easier to lay them down on the plate, that's fine too. And as you're cutting, if you see any gaps, you can just fill them in, sprinkle some more on, no problem. All right, so now comes the time where we're gonna taste it. I've already um, cut some, so I'll taste those, but uh, we also cut the rest of these later. So let's see. I don't have any chopsticks, but I think chopsticks would be so much fun to eat this with. So I'm just gonna use a fork. You can use your fingers. It is your snack, so you do what you wanna do, and I'm gonna stick the whole thing in my mouth. Mmm. That is really good. I'm gonna be honest. I've never had Fruity Pebble cereal before this. I had tricks, and it kind of tastes like tricks, but it's really good with the yogurt and the banana. So let's try this other one. Um, I love peanut butter and chocolate. It's one of my favorite combinations. Oh, that's really good. All right. I'm sorry I'm talking with my mouth full. I hope you had fun watching this, but I hope you have even more fun making it. We would love to see your pictures of your fruit sushi. Just post them to, to our Facebook page or post them to your own and um, do hashtag AML and we'll find them. But fruit sushi, y'all. Hope you have fun making it. We'll see you next time.